In this video, we're going to be talking about the Air Raid Shallow Cross concept and why this is one of the best concepts year in and year out in Madden. Now, if you want to get my full Air Raid Offensive ebook, I did that as kind of a memory to Mike Leach. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description to join the Patreon. Uh, our Patreon membership includes access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, uh, including all of the updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up, $10 um, is uh, all you need, and it is at the link in the description below, and it'll get you access to everything. Today we're talking about H Shallow Cross. This play can be found in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Um, this is known as Shallow in the Air Raid or 91. This would be essentially Ace 91. Um, two by two explains the, the set. Um, but anyways, let's get on the field. H Shallow Cross is a great play. Um, it's actually a quick hike play. There's only one adjustment you need to make. You don't even have to make it if you don't want to. Um, you can run this play completely stock. But there is one adjustment that I want to recommend that I think is really good, especially for the current meta, allows you to beat man-to-man -man a little easier. So all we're going to do is we're going to put this left side receiver on a C route. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a way to beat man coverage consistently. We also have um, really the shallow, the dig, and the post are all good routes against man as well. So what you're going to see here is the C route gets over the top of man coverage. Now, if you don't want to run the CR, let's say you don't have Hot Route Master, okay? There are a couple of things you can do. But honestly, the best thing, especially if they're not going to put safeties over the top, which most people that are running man right now don't have any safety help, you can just leave him on that streak, as we see LT just destroy the whole tip. Um, but you can just leave him on uh, the streak. So I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, but basically what will happen is, Sometimes Waddle will just kill kill him over the top because uh, of his speed and because of the fact that he gets short out elite. So as you can see right there, you do have the potential to just hit the home run ball if you want to leave the streak, uh, which is fine. Uh, in that case, if you want to leave the streak and you want to be a little bit better against man, another little simple thing you can do is you can slant the slot receiver. This is going to give us kind of a little bit better of a quick read against man. Uh, and as you can also see here, Michael Irvin, if we can make a good throw, is wide open on the, over the middle of the field. Okay, this, uh, this post route is actually pretty good against man if you can throw it on time, uh, which we'll show you how to do that right here. So you'll see here, you got your shallow concept. If it's not there, you've got that route right there. That is a really good and really consistent man beater, um, especially against press man. Now, the other thing about this play that is really good is this running back route, as well as kind of what it does. It'll create kind of a natural pick uh, for Cooper Cup. If that's not there, you see Darren Waller on this in route will be wide open. Really, the read that you want to start with, what I like to do is peak this fade or C route. So, uh, I'm going to look there first, but just for like a split second, okay? I'm going to see if I have instant separation. If I don't have separation... Then I'm going to turn my attention to the dig route, and I want to look at the uh, basically at the top of that dig route or that top of that linebacker. If that linebacker goes with the dig route, then I'm going to look to throw the shallow. So as you see right here, I look to throw the shallow, and I can take that underneath. Now, um, if they play it that well, okay, obviously you're going to you're going to look at it. You're going to see, okay, he's covered. Then we're going to progress to this post route over the top of the play uh, as well. So you're going to see here, look left, no. Look at that. No, I got the in route coming open, and I've also got this post route coming open in behind the play. Okay? So this play is really, really good against man-to-man. -man. It's really simple uh, and actually really equipped to handle a lot of what main coverage is going to do, even if you just call it straight up. Now, again, zone, if they bail back to that thing, then you have this shallow against zone. Really, really easy read. We can just step up, pop it to the shallow for easy yardage against really zone. They have to hard flat. Basically, that's shade underneath. Um, and if they're, if they're going to shade underneath, then you're going to notice that there's going to be some other things um, that are going to be open as a result. So if I shade underneath in my zone, <clears throat> then what you're going to notice here, I shade underneath. Okay, now my in route is going to come open in behind the yellows. Should have waited just a little bit longer, but he's going to come open in behind the yellows. Now, another thing you can do if you have hot route master, okay, or slot apprentice, you can put this guy on a post. The reason I like that is just because it gets into a little bit deeper uh, in the back end of the defense. The dig route and, and the way the yellows play this year um, can kind of be a little too short. Um, but by and large, like you have that, and then you can wait on it, and you hit that. 
And again, this is obviously against a drop eight cover four. Now against a sin four, um, so we'll show you that, like a sin four cover three, where we're gonna you know blitz four people basically. Then you're gonna notice that now we're going up against this cover three here, and you see that we're gonna have this window to throw the post route in behind right in that little pocket. So the post route is really a, a key route on this play, especially against cover three and cover two because what it does is it helps kind of keep the defense honest. They can't just sit on the shallow. They can't devote that much attention to the shallow. Then you see right here, I'm just gonna freeform that underneath, basically, or down, and you're gonna see it's gonna put the ball where only my receiver can catch the ball. The shallow cross concept is equipped to handle literally every defense you're going to face. Um, this little running back quick throw is a great little peak route as well to the sideline. If they're not playing hard flats, we can take the running back quick. We want to force them to have to come down on these short routes so that then we can throw some of these big play routes. And if all else fails, we can just step up and run the ball with our quarterback. I want to thank you for watching this video. The Air Raid is my favorite offense to study. Mike Leach is my favorite coach of all time. And in his honor, wanted to release an Air Raid offensive ebook for you guys. We dropped that last night. If you want to check that out, the link to sign up for that. Uh, for the Patreon is in the description. And again, it's only 10 bucks to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So thanks for watching the video, and you can sign up for the Patreon down in the description below.